All right, so we have 12 sentences. This is our last lesson in the workbook, 18.5. And you're going to, this says, cross out the incorrect word in each sentence, then say the sentences out loud. You're going to write the sentences out, and there's 12 of them. So you're going to have to pause the video several times here. So let's look at the example. You're going to have two words to choose from, just like that one. And again, I cannot tell what that color is, but hopefully you can see there's these two words here, these two here, these two, and these two. So you're going to have to choose between enough, two, such, and so, all of them. They put all of them in here. So remember your hints about what you can do. Uh, refer back to the student book, uh, lesson one, if you need to, or lesson 18.1. So let's look at the example. I'd never seen. So we had the cho choice between so and such. A big number of customers in the store before. So there's a clue right here that is going to be such. You see a, you see an adjective, and then you see a noun. So that's why it cannot be so. I'd never seen so a big number of customers. Nope, can't do it. I'd never seen such a big number of customers in the store before. So go ahead and pause the video, do sentences, write out sentences one through four. All right, I'm going to scoot this up. Let's see how many sentences we can get in here. Oops. All right, looks like we can get for sure five through nine. So go ahead and pause the video and do sentences five through nine. And let me get the last couple in here. All right, we've got 10, 11, and 12. Go ahead and pause the video and work on those three. All right, so you're going to go ahead and turn, like uh, for your workbook exercises, the idea is, is that you turn them into me um, and then you listen to the audio and practice your speaking. So just to let you know, that's the correct order that, that you were supposed to be doing these in. All right, let me go ahead and play the example so you can practice speaking. I'd never seen such a big number of customers in the store before. Number one. Our senior managers think the price of our products is too high. Number two. This room won't be big enough for this afternoon's meeting. Number three. The team is so excited about tonight's awards ceremony. Number four. I thought today's meeting was such a waste of time. Number five. Jim doesn't speak loudly enough. I can barely hear him. All right, let me scoot these down. Oh, no. Okay, we'll need one more. So let's do number six. Our IT system is so old. It's time we invested in a new one. Number seven. The new intern works so slowly. She prefers talking on the phone. Number eight. Our products were too expensive to appeal to middle market customers. Number nine. Mary is such an ambitious woman. She wants to be a CEO by the age of 30. Number 10. You shouldn't drive too quickly when you're in this part of town. And I'm going to move this up so we can get the last two, 11. The strikes have caused such a problem for our employees who commute. And number 12. 
the marketing campaign was too boring to appeal to young people. All right, and that's the end of lesson 18. We'll see you for a new unit, uh, unit four and lesson 19.